Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at uh, queues in Jira service desk. So in the previous video we spent some time um, understanding what exactly is a Jira service desk. We did a quick uh, introduction but we of course have to uh, learn it properly. So today let us talk about queues and how you can uh, create your own queue to make your uh, life easier as an agent. So when you raise a ticket from the customer portal, you have the option or rather I should say your customers, so they have the option to select different request types and based on the request types and based on the values that they will fill in, the, the data that they will provide, you will be of course able to help them. Now let us say uh, you receive a request based on uh, something like set up a VPN to the office or maybe someone is uh, asking you or basically they are trying to say that uh, something is wrong with their desktop or laptop. So let me raise one, uh, one ticket here and I'm trying to say here that my my desktop screen is not working. So this is something really important and I can say that uh, maybe my um, my screen is broken. Please fix it ASAP. So you can uh, see here that the customer is really in a rush because uh, the, cons the customer cannot really work without a screen which is which is quite obvious. Now when you go back to your customer uh, your Jira service desk uh, project, you have the option to monitor these tickets uh, as these tickets are coming from the customer portal or basically all the tickets that you have in your Jira service desk. Now these queues are nothing but uh, a collection or it is like a filter in your Jira and that will display the tickets that will fulfill that criteria. So right now we are looking at all open tickets in our Jira service desk project. And if you want to, if you want to understand the criteria, the, the query behind this queue, you can click on the edit queue option on top and you can easily figure out uh, that all open tickets or the tickets in this all open queue will have uh, to fulfill this criteria and that criteria is resolution is uh, equal to unresolved and order by time to resolution. So this order by is basically a way to display the tickets based on uh, time to resolution ascending. So this is something that you can always change. You can have your own order. So this will this will basically de determine the order in which the tickets appear on your uh, on your customer on on your Jira service desk uh, project. So let us create our own uh, queue that will uh, display something uh, that we want uh, it to display. And I mean that uh, we want to create a queue where the issues will be filtered based on the criteria that uh, we will uh, define in the queue. So to create a new queue, you uh, need to go to the uh, left hand side section where you have the list of uh, all the existing queues. And if you click on this uh, option here at the very bottom, it says a new queue. If you click on it, you will be taken to this interface. And uh, here you can define uh, all the queues I mean, you, you can define the criteria for the queue. So the first thing is that you may want to uh, give this queue a name, which is uh, always good. So you can say here something like uh, uh, maybe assigned or maybe something like uh, critical tickets for me. So uh, I want to know all the, uh, all the tickets that are critical and assigned to me. And I want to have uh, uh, some of course criteria so I can first uh, select uh, something like assignee and I can then specify my own user. 
So right now I don't really have any other uh, any issue, any ticket assigned to me. And by the way, if you're familiar with Jira, this is exactly like your issue navigator. There is not really much difference here. You can use this interface to create a queue or you can define the query or you can use the advanced uh, JQL uh, option if you are if you're familiar with JQL and here you can definitely uh, type in something like order by created I mean you're just uh, I mean you have the option to sort or create a uh, display this list this display the issues or tickets in this list based on uh, as the issues are coming in your uh, in your project so I want uh, issues to be sorted by the date of creation and you are you have the option to also display the fields the additional fields or the columns if you want in your queue so right now i'm happy with this uh, with this uh, uh, list of fields uh, i have the option to take a look at the key summary created updated due date maybe i want to display something like time to resolution so i want to know the sla and i can create the queue so once you create the queue, you can see here that uh, this will be listed at the very bottom. You can move it up if you want. But one recommendation is that when you create a queue, uh, give the criteria or use the don't use your own name, use something like uh, current user so that anyone who is looking at the queue will see his or her own tickets. So this is fine. Uh, we have a we have a queue, but we don't really have uh, tickets under it. So what I can do now, I can uh, go to open all open issues and uh, I can probably move some of these uh, tickets uh, or I can assign some of these tickets to uh, myself and I will also change the uh, maybe the priority or the urgency to critical or uh, high. So because we want to display all the critical tickets, not only really any ticket so we can go to f so one thing that i really want to do is i want to mo modify or add few more things in the uh, in the filter in the in the criteria for my queue if i click on uh, let me switch it to basic so that we we have something simple to work on so i want to just uh, take a look at tickets that are um unresolved so I don't really want to bother myself with tickets with resolution set as done or won't do or anything else apart from just unresolved. So this is something that I can do here. I can also do the same thing with status, but resolution is something um, makes sense. And uh, I can also just filter based on the urgency. So I want to have tickets that are of I mean tickets with urgency as critical and uh, I want this special queue because I want to monitor these uh, tickets separately because the SLAs might be different uh, so let me just go back to few of my tickets and by the way we are not really filtering or the queue is not really filtering based on the issue type or request type so it is relevant for maybe incident or any, any other type of uh, ticket. So for this particular incident, it is not really, is it assigned to me? So let me assign it to myself. And uh, if I assign it to myself, uh, I can of course see my name here on the right hand side. But at this stage, nothing will come here unless I change the urgency to something else. And that something else is uh, critical. So let me modify the urgency to critical and the moment I do it if I click on update I should see a ticket uh, appearing in uh, my queue let me just re refresh it for uh, for you just to have it quickly and uh, yes so we, we can see that we have a new ticket uh, with us in the in the in the queue and I can do the same thing for maybe my uh, other tickets. Let me just verify if the service request has the urgency uh, field. So yes, the urgency field is there. I can just uh, fill it up or I can also 
assign it to myself just to show you how it looks like. So now we have one incident and one service request in the queue. And uh, this ticket is still open by the way. And if I click on, so the, so the ticket just appeared. So I, I mentioned in my previous video that uh, if you're monitoring this queue, the tickets will appear in the queue without you refreshing. I mean, you can refresh it, but if you wait for like maybe a few seconds, it will come. So this is like an auto refresh page. So this looks good to me and uh, I can see here that we have a time to resolution for one of the issue it is uh, one day and the other for the other one it is uh, four hours. So this one is really important because uh, the website is very slow. And we'll, we'll of course take a look at how SLAs are defined in uh, future uh, videos. So what else we can do with this queue? Now this queue is uh, of course listed here. But maybe you want to display this, uh, you know, arrow kind of a thing. So just for your knowledge, this is not really a sub queue or uh, a queue within a queue. It is more like uh, uh, some, I mean, you, you it is nothing but a symbol that you can insert in your queue so that you can also, uh, you, you can make it look like it is a sub queue, but it is not a sub queue. It is just for visual uh, help. So let me just copy this uh, this arrow sign or symbol and I can also insert this sign or symbol uh, whatever you want to call it in my queue name so that I can also see this arrow and I can now move it to assign to me so within assign to me I can have one queue which is critical tickets for me and it looks like uh, a sub queue although it is not a sub queue it is nothing but a symbol just to make it look good but now you have a new queue and uh, when you're looking at the queue you can do few things like you can take a look at the number or if a number of issues uh, you can take a look at uh, the queue itself and all the tickets and these columns if you want you can also click on the uh, the, the label of the column to sort it manually if you want and uh, <clears throat> you have you have the option to also export the export the uh, queue uh, maybe into an excel uh, file so we can probably uh, look at the export features later on but uh, right now i wanted to uh, share in this video how to create uh, a queue and queue is of course one place where you can uh, take a look at the tickets coming to your Jira service test project but you, but you can also create your own filter or you can also create your own own dashboard so it is up to you the advantage as I mentioned before is uh, the queue is part of your project and uh, this is something that will always uh, always refresh on its uh, own so uh, when you of course let us say one of let us say ITSM2 is uh, one of the uh, incident if I ref if I maybe resolve it, the the resolution will be set as uh, maybe done, and uh, the moment you resolve it, the ticket will uh, be removed from your uh, queue, and uh, you have this always uh, refreshed for you. It takes a couple of seconds. It is not like instant, but. Uh, at least you are not really pressing the refresh button uh, manually. So in the next uh, video, we will uh, take a look at uh, the workflows, the default workflows that comes with the IT service desk template of uh, Jira service desk. So we'll take a look at those workflows. And uh, of course, in future videos, we will see how to use our own workflows uh, or how to modify the workflows uh, uh, based on your own custom criteria or maybe if you want to follow industry standard uh, processes although a Jira service desk uh, comes with these uh, standard workflows but I understand each and every company can have its own needs it can uh, have uh, maybe their own customization so you always have the option to customize your workflow if you want so in the next video, we will take a look at those uh, workflows. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.